right, this is first grade, module three, lesson one. And essentially, this lesson kicks off an entire unit where students are going to be talking about measurement and data and all this sort of stuff. Man, if ever there was a time for students to fall in love with mathematics, it would be during this lesson, where, I mean, during this unit, where students are, they get to run around, they get to measure stuff, they get to talk about things like longer than and shorter than, and oh my gosh, what a great opportunity for students to just naturally start to differentiate uh, amongst themselves. Oh, one student wants to measure a chair, while another student wants to measure a poodle. It's just, uh, this is a great time for math to come alive. It's also a good time to develop some mathematical vocabulary. So longer than, shorter than, end point. Uh, as a teacher, uh, especially for your uh, second language learners, uh, have a word wall and a sentence frames where students can constantly practice using this mathematical vocabulary. So let's get going. So we're going to start, um, let's start with these two pencils. Trust me, these are supposed to be pencils. They're about the silliest looking pencils I think I've ever seen. So anyway, I drew them. What, what can I say? So we've got these two pencils. And the idea would be teachers and parents is to ask your students, well, which one of these pencils is taller? And the students might say, hey, this one seems to be taller, or you could say longer. So there's a variety of words that you could use, by the way. So you could use, you know, taller, shorter. You could use all these different words. Um, and, and in fact, you might even want to have these in your word wall up on, on the wall for your second language learners. So we're looking at these pencils and the, the idea would be, well, which one's taller, which one's shorter? Now, if, as adults, we would say, well, we don't know because we don't see the end points, but you let your students talk about it and you have a good time, enjoy yourself. And then as you reveal, oh, look at this, oh, look at that. Now, which one's taller and which one's shorter? In fact, your students still may say this one is taller. But the idea is we want our students to recognize that we don't know which one's taller and which one is shorter until we've lined up their endpoints down here. And once we've lined up their endpoints, now we have an idea of if they're taller or shorter. And in fact, this uh, instance, they're the same length now, aren't they? And then we can go over here and we can... We can look and say, well, which one's taller and or which one's longer and which one's shorter? Isn't that interesting? I just came up with another. So you got longer and you've got taller and shorter, and then you have longer and shorter. So the same word shorter is used in both cases, but taller is when they're lined up like this, and longer is when they're lined up like that. That's kind of a a curious thing about the English language, isn't it? So uh, parents and teachers, you're definitely going to have to help your uh, English as a second language learners um, in these lessons. So the idea is, well, which one of these pencils is shorter and which one's longer? And we don't know until we've revealed the end points. And, oh, look at that. We've revealed the end points right here. And we can see that, oh, they already are lined up. In which case, now it's really easy to see that this one is shorter than this one. Or we could say this one is longer than this one, right? So that's the idea, is that we don't know how to compare until we have lined up the end point. So that's another huge word, end point. That's a huge, huge word. Woo, right here. End point is a really important word. So uh, feel free to use that word as much as you can with your students. In fact, put it on a word wall. So we're going to put this into practice here. And it says circle the longer rabbit. And so as we're looking, we can see, oh, it looks like Peter is longer than floppy. So down here, we're going to put Peter is longer than floppy. And these are the kinds of uh, sentence frames that we're going to want to use during this module. Now here, I showed this because you got a couple of choices. You know, some of your students are going to look at these bars and they're going to use or refer to those bars in order to 
compare figures, while others may want to grab a piece of string, they may use um, paper clips. Parents and teachers, allow your students to differentiate. If they have an idea, let them run with it. Let them exp experience and explore. In fact, it would be really cool if you could throw away the homework assignment all itself, which is just nothing but paper and pencil, and let students run around and explore or explore and uh, compare real things as their homework assignment. But uh, nevertheless, this lesson is written as it is, so let's, let's go for it. Uh, so this says paintbrush A is, and then here, longer than, shorter than, paintbrush B. So here's paintbrush A, and then here is paintbrush B, and students might want to compare, so they can line them up if they want, and say, oh, well, here's paintbrush B, and here's paintbrush A, and we're going to line up those endpoints. Oh, we could see that paintbrush A is longer than paintbrush B, so we could do that, is longer than paintbrush B. That's one way to do it. Or your students might refer to the, the bars, and see that they're equal length, and that, oh, paintbrush A appears to be one, two, three, almost four um, intervals long, whereas paintbrush B looks like it's one, two, three-ish long, so you, the students might compare that way. And then the last one, this is their uh, Eureka Maths nod to the fact that first graders do need to go out and they need to touch and they need to measure things in their life. Um, so let your students do that. In fact, parents and teachers consider um, augmenting or replacing the homework all together with just giving students the opportunity to measure stuff in their real world. And that wraps up First Grade Module 3, Lesson 1, the beginning to a wonderful module where students are going to be measuring and comparing. And what a great opportunity for math to come alive.